You have all these dreams and things you want to do. You know that it demands hard work, but there is a part of you that keeps holding you back. It prefers to be lazy, rest or do unimportant activities. For example, there is this book you've always said you're going to write, but you don't really find the time, and even if you start it, it doesn't last, you prefer to watch another episode of whatever show you're watching. For everything we want, excluding fun activities, we need self-discipline, it is necessary. So how can you develop self-discipline? Well, think about something you do every day, like brushing your teeth. Besides the fact that it's a habit and you're used to it, so it's kind of automated, there is another factor. You need it. If you don't brush your teeth, you'll go crazy. If for some reason you don't relate to that, think about eating, drinking or sleeping. These are things that bring you an immediate gratification, unlike your goals, that the actions you do only pay off for the long term. So does it mean that your goals are not important enough for you? No. Because you don't get an instant reward, you don't have the willpower to go and achieve them. The first thing you can do is to prepare your weapon. Who controls your life? Is it your mind or is it you? Whenever you want to do something, your mind will come up with a million excuses. No, I shouldn't go to the gym today, my body is too tired and I need to rest. I'm not in the mood for studying right now, tomorrow morning I'll be more productive. I know that I need to wake up, but 5 more minutes won't hurt anyone, I can still make it on time. For some reason your mind is programmed to keep you in the safe zone, and it doesn't like the idea that you want to do something else. If you listen to your mind all the time, you are a slave, you become lazy and can't make your own decisions, so be aware of that and decide to take control of your life. The next time your mind starts whining, take up the reins and tell it that you are your own master and you decide what to do. Yes, treat it like a little child, that's pretty much what it is. The second tip I'll give you is to set short-term goals. If you only look at the bigger picture, at the final result that you're willing to get, it may seem frightening and unachievable. It may threaten you so much that you wouldn't even want to do anything. Only thinking about these huge tasks make you want to run away, so you need to create a detailed plan. Okay, there's this huge thing you want to accomplish. Let's say you want to learn how to produce electronic music. There is so much to learn, how do you even start? If you have a plan, it's so much easier. You can prepare some video playlists that teach the basics for beginners and save them as webpage bookmarks. You can find some online articles that will help you decide what program to use. You can even take some lessons if you feel that sitting with a teacher one-on-one -on -one will give you a push. When you know exactly what you need to do, it creates order in your mind and makes your goal seem more realistic. It's a lot easier to be disciplined when you have a plan, because if you don't have a clue what to do, you end up confused. The third thing I'd recommend is obvious in my opinion, and it's to remove distractions. Nowadays, unlike a few years ago, it seems like everyone has issues with attention and concentration. We're used to be distracted all the time. Messages, notifications, phone calls, commercials, and whatnot. It's so hard for us to focus on one thing, and we get bored way too easily. Consider changing your lifestyle and habits. If you can't concentrate, it means you're doing something wrong. Spend less time on social media. Put your phone away from you during the day. Turn everything off when you're doing something that demands your full attention and limit your television time. Before I go to sleep, I watch one or two episodes and then I read a book. Do activities that will help you improve your concentration. The fourth tip is to just start. The beginning is usually the hardest part. Don't make the mistake and wait till you feel like it, because you probably won't. After you start, it's easier to continue, you enter a state of flow. Do everything you can to help you get started. Set up your environment, prepare your tools. If you want to go to the gym on a regular basis, set a day and time you're going every week and add it to your schedule. Make it something you can't cancel, no matter what, it will get you committed. The fifth thing is actually a Japanese technique that I find very helpful. It's called the one minute principle. When you want to start doing something, if you can't find the motivation, do it for only one minute every day at the same time. Even if you're super lazy, I'm sure you can do something for one minute. Do push-ups for one minute, read for one minute, write for one minute, or whatever you want to do. Many times you will continue for more than one minute because all you needed is that little push. In conclusion, 
Self-discipline is something you need to work on, but it's definitely possible to improve, so keep up the good work. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you need self-discipline for. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one.